Every day, thousands of people are diagnosed with dementia, but 10% of those patients don't have dementia at all. In fact, they suffer needlessly and take unnecessary medication for a disorder which mimics degenerative brain disease. RTV6 reporter Stacia Matthews is here to explain. Stacia? Erica, this disorder has three distinct symptoms, as the couple you are about to meet found out. Over the river and through the woods, to J.D. and Donna Kane's house we go. And I could sit here till hell freezes over and talk about how good I feel, but nobody knows how bad I felt. Difficulty walking and standing. He couldn't get up. No, here, I, he couldn't get up. Donna would have to help me. Incontinence. It was very embarrassing to me to wear a diaper. Ultimately, dementia. Things that, that he should know, he didn't, he didn't know. Doctors treated J.D. for Parkinson's disease for 14 years. 11 pills a day for Parkinson's. Yeah. A referral brought J.D. to Indianapolis, where neurosurgeon Michael Turner diagnosed him with normal pressure hyprocephalus. NPH is caused by abnormal accumulation of spinal fluid, expanding ventricles and increasing pressure in the brain. It can appear similar to Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Those are far more common, common illnesses, and, and the good news is that the, the NPH is treatable, and the symptoms are completely reversible. Turner put a shunt in J.D.'s brain to drain the excess fluid through a tiny valve leading into his stomach. This restores proper flow. With a magnet, Turner programs the device to control the drainage. Something like you see on your water heater. If the pressure gets too high inside the water heater, it opens up and lets the pressure off. That was five months ago. Today, this couple, married 50 years, is enjoying the cabin J.D. built. They've got their lives back and hope by sharing their story, someone else will get a proper diagnosis. I don't want to see anybody go through that. That's, you know, there's more to life. Certainly is. And Dr. Turner says the operation to fix NPH takes about an hour and is not considered dangerous. Stacia Matthews, RTV6.